I'd like to welcome all y'all to Africa right now. Welcome to Africa, because we in Africa. I'm in Africa right now, man. I'm in the sedan right now, man. I'm in the sedan, you feel me? And guess what? I have not left North America. I'm still in North America, but I'm in Africa. How am I in North America and I'm in Africa at the same time? How is that? Because America is Africa. Let's see if you can see this. Hebrews in America. Solid evidence. Now, this is just a YouTube thing, but this is the thing about it. One love to all our white folks who've been exposing this information to us and we just ain't been taking heed. And one love to the ones who lost their jobs and got killed and got their family killed. You know that. You know how they always do it. You know how they always do it. For example, White bro, who White bro wrote the manuscripts to the FEMA camp. Then they came out with the FEMA camp movies. That his name is, what's his name? I can't think of his name. Right? Is it David some? David. I can't think of his name, but he was a journalist. He wrote a lot of anti-government manuscripts and stuff like that. He wrote the FEMA camp manuscript. How they gonna put you in the FEMA camps, right? And then all of a sudden. This is what they say. They say he killed his wife, his little daughter, and then killed himself on a on a suicide homicide, homicide suicide. You feel what I'm saying? That's what they say. Like, but we already know. No, these people are not killing themselves. These people are just exposing the wrong information that they was not supposed to be exposing. And I'm talking about they exposing the wrong information because most of the time. These people who are exposing this stuff, they're in the same arena. They're in the same area. They touching elbows with these people. For example, if we on the streets, I'm on the streets and me and you on the streets and we doing something and you tell on me because you're in the streets. That's why you tell on me because if you ain't in the streets, how you ain't going to tell on me, right? So these people do be hooked up with these people in some kind of way and that's why they know this information and they spill it. Sometimes they don't be hooked up though. Sometimes they don't be hooked up, but a lot of time these dudes are already hooked up with these people. They are already. And we know this. I'm just saying you can go and not just on YouTube, you can go look and look history. Go through history. Go to the Smithsonian Institute. Go to um go go look at the Mormons. Look at the Mormon stuff, the Mormon in Utah. Look at their stuff. They got the evidence right there. They got the evidence of the Egyptian scriptures, of the Hebrew scriptures, nigga, Greeks, nigga, giants, elephant fossils, the whole nine. The whole nine. The whole nine. Moses in America. Moses in America. Now, this is what used to trip me out when I heard about the American Indians being Hebrews and the American Indians had the story of Moses and all that. I'm like, how did American Indians have the story of our ancestors? Nigga, Moses is my cousin. How did y'all, how did, how, how did y'all? got the stories and then like back in the day in elementary and stuff I used to tell my Latin partners like man you know how we have pyramids in Egypt you know the Aztec and the Mayans got pyramids over here the whole time I'm like bro the reason why the Aztecs and the Mayans got pyramids over here like they do in Egypt because we are the Aztec and the Mayans America is Egypt. America is the real Egypt, though. The real Egypt. And that Egypt over there in Africa, I know a lot of you Hotep or you Pan-Africans and conscious black Negroes probably going to be mad. But look, I've been mad. I've been mad. So you can get mad, too, because I've been mad on, on a lot of stuff, man. But not like, you know, not like that, though. But you can get mad on that if you want to. Because I know a lot of you Pan-Africans want to go back to Africa 
And then some people, I be seeing some people, they be on YouTube and they be talking and then they be talking about the Africans in America and then the Africans in Africa. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, we, we're we not going to get into this subject about where we are already over here. Look at this, bro. Peep game check play. Look at this, right? That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, right? If you came from the place they call Africa, you came over here before 300 and 400 years ago. You came. You was over here before 1492. You was over here before the dumb diverses. The Africans. Look, at they call us African-Americans, but we are Americans. Now, the people that was coming from Africa, the Africans been coming over here. They been coming over here. But guess what? That's where a lot of the... Egyptians found in the Grand Canyon. Mayans say they are Hebrew, ancient Hebrews. This is just to say, question everything, everything that they've been telling you, because how come they never told you that all these Egyptian artifacts, Hebrew artifacts is right over here in America's? They never told you that. Why? Because it doesn't fit their narrative. Because they want you to think that all black people come from Africa, so-called black people. All so-called black people come from Africa. That's what they want you to think. So they're not going to tell you about, how come they never tell you about the Omeg heads? They never tell us about the Omeg heads. The Omeg heads. They got African features. The Omeg heads weighing five, eight hundred pounds, just the heads. So they brought all these big Omeg heads on a boat from Africa or did the giants bring it over? OK, the giants, the giants. How do they bring all these Omeg heads from Africa? But there's no Omeg heads in Africa. There's no Omeg heads in Africa. The Omex, Mexicans are the civilization of Mexico. And they got African features because they say we're African. So they got Negro features. You feel me? But there was no black people over here. The black people came after the pilgrims came over here and killed the Native Americans and then went to Africa and brought millions of people over here on a boat. They brought a million people to North America, a million people to West Indies. They brought a million Afro Latinos to South America. We go to Brazil. We see a nigga with an Afro. Use an Afro Latino. Like any of you niggas, I don't like. I'm telling you, bro. Any of you, I don't care how smart you is, but you know about what, whatever. And you niggas still talking about, oh, we came over here three or four hundred years from Africa. Be listening to these niggas on YouTube, man. They be talking some good stuff, and then they get to then they get to start talking about African stuff. Oh, you know, we we came over here three or four hundred years. You came over here three or four hundred years ago, bro. All you Africans that came over here three or four hundred years ago, you need y'all need to y'all need to group up with each other, man, and step aside from us, cause we been over here, nigga. We been over here. So this is the thing about it. When you start to see these Omeg heads and all these artifacts of Negroes over here that been over here 2,000, 3,000 years, you start to say, wait, hold on. We've been in America. So we came from Africa thousands of years ago. So then now that's the story. They came before Columbus that the Africans came over here. But this is the thing, they don't ever tell us no Africans come over here. The only Africans they say they came over here, came over here through the Middle Passages, the Atlantic slave trade. Those are the only Africans that they tell you about in school, in history, nigga. Roots, nigga. 12 years slave ass, nigga. Oh, we brought y'all from Africa. Then how did the Omeg heads get over here? Did y'all travel back in time, nigga? Did y'all quantum leap, nigga? Well, man, matter of fact, where's Ziggy at? Where's Ziggy at? We need a quantum leap real quick, man. Let's quantum leap. Because I think these niggas was quantum leaping and then coming back on some prestige type stuff, man. What a time travel machine at, man. Because we need to do the same thing that y'all was doing because black people been over here forever. And it's too much history and evidence to prove that. Then y'all talking about black people only came over here when y'all brought them over here on the slave ship. So that's what I'm saying. Them Omeg heads. How did y'all do that then? 
if y'all bought Africans over here 400 years ago, but them Olmec heads been over here for thousands of years ago, please tell me, how did you accomplish that one? How did you accomplish that? I just want you guys to embark on this journey. Walk with me. Talk with me on this journey as we come into this truth because we're in the age of revelation. It's time to reveal. A lot of people thinking the Bible stuff is not real because it's been tampered and all that. But a lot of that stuff is history and a lot of that stuff is coming true because we're in the age of revelation. That's why the truth is coming out. Boom, boom, boom. It's coming. It's coming. These people rule. You know how they rule because somebody let them rule. We already know that. You already know. But look at this walk on this journey. So they they just found, well, it's been about like a couple months ago when they found the mummies in Memphis. They just found the mummies in Memphis, Tennessee. The mummies that they found in Memphis, Tennessee had locks, what you call dreadlocks and gold teeth. And we know the only people who wear dreadlocks are so-called black people. <laughs> we already know that the American niggas, North American. We even go to Brazil. Them niggas got locks, but they call them Afro Latinos. Feel me? They call them Africans like they call us Africans. You feel me? So you know we're the same people. We the only ones who wear locks, nigga. Who the only ones who got gold ones? You feel me? Who does that? Who has a mouthful of gold or who wear locks? That's why I should grow my locks back. I had mine for twelve. I had mine for twelve years. I cut them. The end of 2013, I had mine for 12. This one I got, look at, I got my hair did 9-11 when they was hitting the towers. My hair was getting twisted up into locks 9-11 when they was hitting the towers. That's how I remember the day, 9-11. Nigga, the buildings was on fire. I'm getting locked up, twisted up. You feel me? And then cut at the end of 2013. It was September 2013. But they found the mummies in Memphis with locks. They found the Mayans. Mummies with locks, gold teeth, rubies in their teeth. Just like you niggas be putting them diamond cuts in your teeth and jewels. You know niggas who got diamonds and shit, platinum in their teeth. This all American stuff. Ain't none of this Africa. Ain't none of them Africans ain't got gold teeth. Them Africans don't wear locks. That's how you know Samson and Delilah was in America. Samson. Samson. Don't simp for Delilah cuz... There's too much stuff when you when you go on this journey and you get to see that black people been here. And then you'd be like, oh, OK, we've been here. Then we came from Africa. Then you start to research and study. If you start to research and study that African stuff that you was told by your oppressor, your oppressor, the same person who put you in indigenous, indigenous servitude, fake slavery or real slavery, indigenous servants. These are the people that have been telling you, oh, you came from here. Oh, you came from here. And if any of y'all niggas believe them people, these are the people that said y'all come from Africa because they say all black people come from Africa. But we, that's a different subject, though, that black people come from all over the world. That's a different subject. We don't, That's going to get deeper. Cause when, But that's the subject that you need to know, that the whole world was black people. If you knew that the Europeans is black, nigga, King James, King Arthur, Da Vinci, nigga. If you know that the old Chinese, nigga, is black. And I'm not just talking this. We can get the artifacts. That's why you always see the artifacts of the samurais in them in, in Asia. They're black people. They're black. Everywhere we go. We can go to Germany. To Germany. With the Germans, nigga. The Nazis, nigga. And they got the black boy pub. They got these black niggas with big ass lips out there. Everywhere we go. Anywhere we go. We go to Asia. We go to Europe. We go to Australia. We go to America. Everywhere we go, there are black artifacts of black people. So that means black people were everywhere. Then they said, you got to come out of Africa because it's hot there. <sighs> Who told you that? Who told you that you have to come out of Africa because it's hot and you're dark. Tell that to the Eskimos. The Eskimos been living on the ice for thousands of years and they darker than me, bro. I'm brown. I'm brown. Them Eskimos are darker than me. Nigga. How come they ain't white? They been on the ice. No sun in the ice, nigga. And they still brown. We don't want to hear that tropical thing. Unless you talking about Louisiana way, Louisiana way. Everything's tropical in the chopper on Katrina spray. 
Everything's tropical. Lawima way, Lawima way. You better call FEMA because it's chopping on Katrina when it's spray. Like, they lie about everything. Or they lie about everything. Anything they tell you, don't believe them. Don't believe. If they tell you it's Wednesday and it's raining, and you go outside, it's Wednesday and it's raining, don't believe them. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Man. That shit was told to you in the 80s. Don't believe the hype. And we still believe in the hype. I dig O'Shea did a live with I Mean Raw. Now, I don't know if it was the I Mean Raw squad to be with Sa Nader and them, but it was the I Mean Raw dude. He talking about he'd been in Africa for about how many years, and once he went to Africa, he didn't leave, and Africa is this, and it's great, and all that. And we got to stop believing the hype, what they show us in the TVs. They just show us the jungle and stuff like that. But see, this is where the controversy comes in, and they're so hypocritical because when they show you Africans, they show you Africans with a plate in their nose, but they always tell you Africa is the old world. That's where the dinosaurs was at. That's where all the animals is at. That's where all the pyramids is at. So for them to tell us that Africa is the old world and it's so great, but always showing us desert and niggas with bones and they lips and stuff must really mean that the powers that be are not letting their story fit together. <laughs> Because there's nothing in Africa, bro. There's nothing in Africa. Now, we're going through this biblical stuff. The old world, this mother of civilization, where all the plants come from, where all the animals, because that's what feeds you plants. And then if you eat meat, animals, the land, all the resources, the oil, all the stuff that comes out the land is what feeds you. Africa is the old world, but Africa does not feed nobody. Africa barely feeds their self. If Africa was the old world, it would feed the whole world. Everybody and their mama be in Africa. We wouldn't even be in America. We'd be in Africa right now. Nigga. America is the old world. Nigga. The return of Babylon, the great. We got the Greek and Babylonian artifacts. Egyptian artifacts, Hebrew artifacts all through here. You're trying to tell people about the Grand Canyon. People don't want to listen. The Grand Canyon is pyramids and mounds, man. They found Nefertiti in them artifacts up in there. They found Egyptian artifacts in Little Cairo, Illinois, where they say they found Alexander the Great tomb in Little Cairo, Alexander Town. And they got pyramids over there. And then right next door, you you got Memphis, and they got the statue of the King of Memphis. They got the statue of the King of Memphis, but everything that they say is in the old world, that's in the biblical scriptures, even though we're still in biblical times, is right here in America. From the Mississippi River, which is the Nile River, the mouth of Colorado, the Red Sea, all that stuff is over here in America, and we got proof. Proof, and we came to this proof. Look, at, I used to think I was from Africa too. And then I started thinking, like, oh no, we been came from Africa. Cause I look at this. I been knew about the Africans being over here, man. I been knew about they came from. They came before Columbus and all that. I been knew that there was black people over here, but I was still thinking that we came from Africa. You feel me? I been knew it was black people over here. Been knew that. Been knew. We been knew those niggas over here. Niggas over here. What's killing me is people who still talking about this Africa stuff, man. You need to research and stuff. Research. How come every, they trying to tell us, oh, to go to Africa? But now look at we, now look we probably I don't know we probably do have to exodus Babylon, right? We probably do, but I don't mean go to Africa, nigga. We can go to Central South America, nigga. The West Indies, Canada, Australia, nigga. Parts of Asia, nigga. Nigga, Pakistan, nigga. You know, like, nigga, come on, look. You gotta go to Africa. We're not from Africa. We're from America. The old world. America is the old world. <clears throat> even if you read, like, even if you start to read them alien niggas, see them alien niggas, I wasn't tripping off them alien niggas, right? Because I'm like, the aliens. Then I tried to trip that the aliens are angels. Aliens and angels, like, damn, the Anunnaki's, the gangs, the big head scientists, all these niggas are 
what you would call what fallen angels, jinns, the wish master, genie of the lamp, nigga thought Moses, nigga thought the Lanian who came out the west, nigga thought them, all them niggas come up out of here. All the alien sightings are in America. All the alien sightings are in America. And when you read Thoth and all them nigga shit, they come about the West, nigga. The um the Greek nigga, um, Socrates. It was a Socrates or the Plato nigga. Socrates even talk about them niggas. It's the West. Niggas, the West. Where we at? This is the old world, not Africa. You can't even show us nothing in Africa except them pyramids. And the pyramids go up like this. But we can show you thousands of pyramids in America that you can walk on top. That got stairs. You can walk on top. The Africa stuff ain't ain't adding up. Blood is not adding up. Black people are from all over the world. You got black people in Australia, nigga. The Aborigines in Australia. Till still to this day, nigga. You got black people all over the world. Even if we go to China, nigga, you still don't see black people, nigga. Even though you don't think that, oh, they're Africans. They came from Africa. Mm -hmm. That's all they're going to say. When we go to Europe and we see them black niggas in France, they're going to be like, they came from Africa. No, them black people in France just sued the white French for taking their titles. Nigga. We already know about you barbarians. You niggas are barbarians. And the Mongoid Asians are part of the barbarians. The barbarian tribes are not from they're not indigenous nowhere on this planet. Nigga, the four corners of the earth. So if it's four corners of the earth, it must be flat. I don't know if it's flat around. I don't know. I don't know. But I know these barbarians are not indigenous to nowhere on the four corners of the earth. You have to be melanated. Your hair got to be like this, man, for you to be. You feel me? You do. You do. We already know that. <laughs> Just check out the barbarian tribes. The <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Check out the 10 to 12 barbarian tribes. The Alemanes, the Visigoths, the Vandals. And then when you check out the barbarian tribes, and then you get you will start to look and see that somebody you you will see that these dudes are lying and stuff. You'll see where they came from, man. I mean, you will see where they come from a little bit because I'm gonna tell you right, they try to hide our history. The best kept secret. This is the best kept secret. Not if it's aliens or UFOs. The best kept secret that we are from America. The best kept secret is that America is the old world. Moses and all them was over here. That's why they can't find them in Africa. That's why they be over there in Africa digging up stuff, looking for stuff. But they always find the Hebrew, the Egyptian, the Babylonian, Greek artifacts in america north america central america south america nigga, canada nigga, the west indies fiji samoa tonga hawaii uh, the antarctic nigga. the antarctic we ain't gonna talk about the pyramids in the antarctic because the ice is free the ice is mountain and what's coming up over there this is all out west this is the west the and that's is South America is connected to South is connected to South America. This is the West. This is the old world. That's why we have all the old pyramids. That's why the aliens, the fallen angels, always come here, nigga. They come here, nigga. And you ain't never heard about no alien sighting in Africa. You ain't heard about no alien sightings in Europe, nigga. But they always come here to the Americas because this is the old world, nigga. America. And we got so much proof on this. So much proof. So we ain't even worried about a mongoid, cause the mongoids know, nigga. The mongoids, like I mean, I'ma tell you, I'ma tell you every time, the mongoids are not even from Asia, nigga. What are them, the Siberians, whatever them niggas is, them niggas not even, they not even indigenous over there. Nigga. So how you gonna be indigenous over here when you, the mongoids, the peoples, the white nigga, the black nigga, everybody already said this mongoid came from Asia. You came from Asia. 
But when you came over here, there was already pyramids over here, nigga. So who built the pyramids before you came? So the aliens came down here. There was nobody here. The aliens built pyramids in the Americas. And then the Mongols came over here. No, you dumbass, nigga. The aliens came here because this is the Garden of Eden, nigga. This is where Eve bit the apple at. This is where Adam was simping and did Mac check Eve, nigga. Nigga, you ain't Mac checker, nigga. And we already know she wasn't a serpent. We already know she wasn't listening to no snake. Like, y'all named everything. You named this nigga. You named this nigga a serpent because he had legs and shit. And then their legs got cut off and then they were slithering, right? You named this serpent ass nigga, right? Adam, you named this nigga? Adam, did you name this nigga? So why would this nigga come to your bitch talking about, oh, you want to be a god? And I know this bitch would be like, wait, hold on. My man just named you, nigga. He just called you a serpent, nigga. If you don't get your ass up out of here. So we know it wasn't no serpent. It was the nigga himself. Lucifer, nigga. It was Lucifer himself, nigga. Himself, nigga. In disguise, looking like, nigga, the, nigga, looking like the dopest shit she ever seen, nigga. You feel me? Ain't no serpent come up with her talking about, nigga. I mean, but anyway, that's what I'm saying. This is the old world, though. This is the old world. Right here in the Americas, man. Just research. Just look and research. And you'll see all that stuff over here. Now, I've already been telling you, we don't have these animals. We don't. They find an elephant fossils over here. When these pilgrims came, when the pilgrims came, and remember, the first pilgrims that came, the Quisadors, were black. They were black. Yes, I know you're thinking that they were white people. No, they were black. Okay, now we got that clear. When these niggas came over here, when they started coming over here, but when they started doing what they was doing, because they know they was coming to the old world. Columbus knew he was coming to the to the old world. It's even in his diary. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You got to get these. You got to get Columbus diary. You got to get the nigga who started the Mormons. What's the nigga who started the Mormons? You got to get it. If you read these niggas shit, you'll be like, man, what the? These niggas are playing with us. But they knew they was coming. So when they came up over here, nigga, they started killing a lot of animals. They started taking our elephants back to Africa. I mean, not back to Africa. Taking our elephants to Africa, nigga. Madagascar and all that. Our lions, our elephants, our panthers, nigga. A whole bunch of this stuff we already had here. And they finding the fossils of it here. They took our camels from us. We know we had the camels because we still got the llama, nigga. If we go to South America, they still got lions and tigers, nigga. Even in America, we got lions, you dummy. We got the bobcat, the mountain lion, nigga. <laughs> Excuse me for doing this. It's like I would tell you don't do don't smoke. I don't know because you're supposed to smoke anything. Like you probably do an edible. I don't know if you're supposed to smoke anything, because you know how this cancerous stuff get not how they put chemicals and everything. They put chemicals in everything. So, yeah, we know if they're growing it. But they didn't grow this, though. But, you know, niggas be putting chemicals in everything. The stuff be so natural. The niggas got to put a food coloring, put a chemical in it. Back in the day, niggas was spraying the weed with Raid. They was spraying it with Raid. Uh, they was they be put, doing all kind of shit. And then niggas in Oakland, niggas at the fence in Oakland, them niggas, I think they was, they started putting the hair on in their shit, nigga. Crip and Nade and shit started putting hair on niggas smoking that shit and didn't know they were smoking hair on. Like, what the? Like, no, I don't want to be on that type of hot. I don't want no downers. I want uppers. I want uppers. I don't need no downers, nigga. I don't want no downers. But you don't know what people putting in your, just like the water. What is they putting in your water? They got fluoride in your water, nigga. But I don't want to be no hypocrite because. All you people who don't smoke, but you guys jump into a car, a vehicle, you turn the car on, all the exhaust comes out. Man, that exhaust is like smoking a million cigars, cigarettes at one time. But and we ain't gonna get on. We ain't gonna get into all the the bestest and benzene and even where I'm at right now. No, we ain't. We ain't. You're gonna die of cancer anyway. Nigga. That's what I'm trying to tell you. 
You go to the restaurant, they say, you know, the food in here has chemicals that cause cancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know. Dow line the great. We know. We know. Oh, you know, if you brush your teeth with that toothpaste, it got fluoride, rat poisoning in it. Dow line the great. We know. Thank you. Thank you. Round of applause. We appreciate you. We love you, Pharaoh. I love the Pharaoh. But I can't wait till you drown again. But I still love you. But I can't wait till you drown again. Yeah. Yeah. You already know that. This is the old world. Now, this is what I mean. Like, we be like, man, them scriptures is not right. They're not real. The white man wrote it. You niggas wrote that. You niggas wrote the Old Testament. Hebrew niggas. Hebrew Israelite niggas. There's a lot of Hebrews in that because Esau's a Hebrew, right? And we know Esau is black, but I'm just saying Esau's a Hebrew. Ain't Canaan in them Hebrew. Ishmael a Hebrew. So it's a lot of Hebrews, right? So the Hebrew Israelites wrote the Old Testament. The New Testament written by the Greeks, Romans, who are supposed to be Esau. So they're Hebrews too, right? If they're Esau, right? Okay. The Quran, I, I can't tell you who wrote the Quran. Don't ask me. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? I just know who wrote the Old Testament, the New Testament, to the Tamahu and the Black Greeks. And King James was a black nigga who translated and stuff, right? Because I'm just telling you the stuff that I know. I'm not going to piss be like just talking to be like, oh, and I don't, I don't know, but I don't know. The key point to this is question everything because the stuff that I'm telling you, right? The stuff that I'm telling you, I'm telling you real stuff. Now, I'm telling you that America is the old world and stuff like that. Now, on that, we can get into a little debate. I'm just telling you that because a lot of the evidence of stuff is over here. Which I'm telling you about the evidence of the stuff that's over here. It's real truth. Real Hebrew artifacts. Even Babylonian and Greek artifacts over here. So that means question everything. Question what I'm telling you. Question what he told you. Especially question what she told you. It's what she told you. Really. Uh, you know. But not even just she. Him too. Because him act like her. Him act like her. Like you feel me? A lot of the stuff they be saying... That these black broads do, these black niggas do the same. Cuz. I'm saying cuz today because I can say cuz and I can say blood. <laughs> yeah. See, when, when, when you're a real nigga, you can say stuff like that. You can say cuz, you can say blood. Yeah. 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 When you're a real nigga like that, and when you ain't up under no, you ain't up under no paperwork, you feel me? And you come from that bay, man. You feel me? But you know what's up to my Damus and my Keyways anyway, man. What's up to all y'all, man? Jama, Kumi, all the Swahili, you know, all the Swahili names, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know. Damus, Keyways, Jama, Kumi, you feel me? What's up with all y'all, though, man? What's up with the peoples, though, man? But like I'm saying, though, question everything. Study, research. Man. Get stuff, cross reference, put it together, and look, because that's what you got to do. <clears throat> that's what you got to do because when you, when you start to do that, you will see. You already know, but see, you know these people are liars. We know the people that's ruling over us is liars. The people, when I say the people, because I'm not going to be talking about, I ain't going to put no color or nothing on it because the more you find out it's not just a so-called white man it's really some nigga i'm telling you mark my words man that's why they always blame stuff on niggas because it's always there's some niggas i'm telling you but it's some niggas that, it's, you know how you got the black nobility the black pope and them they were black people i'm telling you it's still these ancient black niggas these ancient bloodlines of these black niggas still sitting back ruling you feel what I'm saying? They still sitting back ruling. You feel me? I'm telling you. Niggas be talking about Ross Child and these niggas rule. I know it's some nigga, nigroid, nigga. I don't know if he's a African nigga, a European nigga, American nigga, but it's some nigga. 
that's calling these shots. With the Zionists, along with the Zionists and the rest of the, you know, the rest of the elites, you know, I ain't even gonna start calling their names out. <sighs> because A to the K to the four to the seven, little devils don't go to heaven. Freedom is the road, seldom travel. A to the K to the four to the seven. Little devils. But you can't go to heaven if you don't got no soul. Oh, you ain't got no soul. Oh. So, I don't even worry about them niggas. They're clones. Clones. You ain't got a soul. I'm not worried about you, boy. I'm Highlander. No remorse. Nigga. No remorse. Highlander. Gambino, Duncan McLeod. You feel me? They ain't got no soul, so you ain't got to worry about them. So, white people did not write the Bible. White people did not invent nothing. Black people did it. But black people are devils, too. I know, I know, I know, yes. The first devils, these niggas. Well, I ain't gonna say what color they because because you know all that leprosy and albino shit in the biblical scriptures. When you get the leprosy, nigga, that was a curse, nigga. And niggas looking at you, nigga, like, so I, I ain't gonna get into all that, all into... I don't know when niggas did something wrong. They got that leprosy disease to let niggas know that you was doing something wrong and your skin got turned like that, nigga. But everybody didn't get cursed like that because you had albino niggas just born like that. And I don't know. You know what I mean? We ain't gonna get into the politics. We ain't gonna get into the politics. No. Just know this is the old world. This is Africa. Welcome to Africa. Kumbaya. Boom baye. Boom bye. Get him. Ali, get him. Boom bye. Ali, get him. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya.